A few years ago, I decided to record an album of songs and write a novel to go along with them. The story was about a fictional guy with a lousy sense of humor, not me, who decides to better himself through the study of comedy. I wrote over 200 pages, but it just didn't work, so I let go of the project to concentrate on other things. Then, about a year ago, I saw a musical in a cool small theater in San Francisco called The Lost Church. In a flash, I realized what should have been obvious. Cool songs plus fun story equals awesome. Thus was born the world's longest joke in the world, which gave me an opportunity to spontaneously burst into song. And as the project started being reinvented as a musical, I ran into Eva. Hello. As I recall, you were feeling kind of down at the time. That's true, yeah. Actually, I was pretty desperate to get back into the arts and get out of the, you know, strange men's beds. Through our work, Eva and I have developed this... Natural, creative relationship in which... The ideas tend to flow organically. Without a lot of preconception. Or stiffly scripted dialogue. Chuckling. You know what, in fact... We often find that we tend to finish each other's sentences. sentences. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. But enough about sports. The reason we are here talking to you now is that we need to raise money to finish the musical, which will be performed at the Lost Church in January. Yes, and the money we raise will also be used to build the set and to finish mixing and mastering our songs so that. For instance, something that originally sounds a little like this. She's a clown. Sounds a little bit more along the lines of this. She's a clown. We want you, your friends, your loved ones, your unloved ones to all come to the show. Not just to have a good Not time. Not just feel better about yourself and humanity, right? But to have the best, best night, night of, of your, your life, life ever. ever. One more thing. We want to thank you. We're fans for helping to fund our Kickstarter campaign.